and it's night and it's dark but I use the lights from the house to finish my latest casting project. This is the result of three hours of work. Let's take these inside so I can show you. Well, shooters and reloaders, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And as you know, there's tremendous interest now in these Russian slug molds. Available on eBay, direct from the Soviet Union, and in various styles. The one we first think about is the one with these hydrant slugs and some call them the Italian slug. But uh, we call them hydrant slugs because they look like a hydrant. I thought I'd go ahead and do a couple of casting sessions so that I kind of paved the way for a lot of you who are buying these molds, save you a little bit of effort and time and kind of like uh, the do's and don'ts and the uh, best tips to get good castings. Well, the first session I did, the slugs had a lot of these little defects, these little grooves didn't fill out completely. I just did a second casting session and what I learned from the first one was that you need to have your alloy hot. This was cast with about 750 degree lead alloy and you really need 875 to even 900 to really get good castings. So I went ahead and did a second session with the 875-900 and look at the results. The slugs are a lot smoother. They have a little frostiness to them though, but that doesn't hurt the slugs at all. But they filled out perfectly. You see the driving band here? It's perfect. And then the back driving band is perfect. And the internal, including the post, is perfect. The nose, well filled out. To help the fill out, I also used 16-1 alloy added to pure lead. So I had some tin in there. The tin is important to lower the surface tension to allow the detail to fill out. Doesn't take much. So some tin, 875 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and we got good alloy. Now the other problem is that when you cast the slug, the slug is on this core pin. And to get it off the, the core pin, you would take the slug and put it back in the mold like this to where the mold captures the slug and then you pull the core pin off. And that gives you the slug like this. Then you just drop the slug, the slug out of the mold and you're ready to put this back in and do another pour. Well, the problem is the core pin likes to get the slug stuck on there and it's hard to pull it off so that when you put it back in the mold like this and you're pulling on it, you can, you have to pull so hard to get that off. It slows down the production and not only that, it stresses the core pin and the slug can get grooves if you rotate it to get it off it'll make a groove here in the slug, so that's no good. So some have said to go ahead and smoke the core pin and smoke the inside of the mold, but I decided instead to use the Frankfurt Arsenal dropout spray. It's easy to spray on, it dries fast, it also dries to a very thin coating. And when you spray the core pin, it's good for about 100 castings before you need to spray again. But it works very well and results in, in the slug being pulled off with minimum effort really. Not bad at all. Just about maybe 10-15 pounds of pull to get that to, to come off and then it's done. So show you some of that production. Give you a close-up of that. 
Look at those great castings and these are just chosen randomly. But look at the nice bases also all nicely filled out and it wasn't problematic to pull that slug off the core pin. You can easily cast 250 including setup and cleanup time in three hours. And 250 slugs will last you a good long time. It's a whole jug full of slugs. Bye for now.